There are multiple different ways you can learn SAS, but which is the best way? The answer might depend on your priorities. Let's look at how to learn SAS for free and why spending some money on training might actually be worth it. Hi, I'm Jen. I help people build analytics skills and careers. You can always find great resources down in the video description. There aren't quite as many options for learning SAS as there are for learning a lot of other data analytics languages and tools. I think this is likely because SAS has always operated in more of a niche capacity prevalent within certain industries and companies. They're a fantastic software, but because they're not open source and they're not as widely used as some other tools, it just doesn't make as much sense for everybody to prioritize them. And it's also not as easy to get access to every piece of the SAS software so that you can learn or in some cases teach it. I talk about SAS like it's just one thing, like I'm mentioning Python or mentioning Tableau, but SAS is really a collection of multiple different tools. There's the base SAS programming language if you want to write exclusively in code. And then there's tools like Enterprise Guide or SAS Via if you want a more interactive, low code environment. Companies can pick and choose which of the SAS applications they install. So a company working with SAS isn't likely to be using every single product that SAS offers. They're likely using a subset of the different tools that are available within the SAS environment, the SAS scope. Some analysts use SAS just like you would any other programming language for analytics. While the context and the actual programming process and terms that you use are different, it's not that dissimilar from using Python or R at the base language. But SAS also offers some fantastic GUIs or graphical user interfaces in the form of Enterprise Guide, SAS Via, and then some of their other tools are hybrids of programming and potential for no code in their application. You can start anywhere you'd like with learning SAS, but if you're completely new to SAS, you may find SAS Enterprise Guide or SAS Via easier to learn because they're a lower code, no code option. They'll let you work without any bit of code, but they also have the opportunity to add code in. So you can quickly become fairly competent with using SAS and start to build the foundations of the SAS language into what you're doing. The easiest SAS option to access for free if you want to learn it is SAS Studio. You can access it through SAS On Demand for Academics, which is their platform to enable people to learn their applications. Signing up for SAS On Demand for Academics also gets you access to some free trainings. I'll link this resource as well as everything else I talk about down in the video description so you can go check them out for yourselves, whichever option that you pick. As far as more complete training, let's get into some options. The first option is ad hoc videos. You can find resources on YouTube and other sites that walk you through a lot of different things that you may want to do within the SaaS environment or within any of the SaaS tools. This ad hoc method is extremely useful when you want to know how to do something specific, but I usually find it's not the most effective way to get started in SaaS or really any other tool or platform that you're learning. That's because it's not comprehensive. It's meant to be piecemeal. It's often meant to just address one small piece of the application, of the tool, of the knowledge that you need. So while it's a fantastic resource and you could use this as your exclusive way of learning, it's usually going to involve a lot more time and likely missing out on some things you learn in a more structured training. However, it's also free, which is really appealing to a lot of people. Option two is online courses for the language. And we'll get into some of the tools in a moment. If you're interested in learning the SAS language for programming, I recommend starting out with Coursera's SAS program or sequence of courses. These are multiple courses put together by SAS themselves and available on the Coursera platform. This program gets you started in programming with base SAS and assumes that you have no prior exposure or experience with the SAS language. If you're more interested in learning some of the SAS tools than in learning just the SAS language, then online trainings from SAS themselves are a good option. They offer a variety of courses for free and then quite a number, most of their trainings are paid usually with the flexibility to do them on demand, uh, live, and sometimes on site, though that's been more limited as of late for obvious reasons. Option four for learning SAS is using a book. 
there are dozens, maybe even hundreds of different resources available, books available on SAS, ranging from just the language up to any of the different applications that they have involved. I think these are fantastic resources as supporting material once you've at least understood the basics of the software. I don't think that they're the best way for you to learn SAS though. This is an exclusive to SAS. I feel the same way about learning Python, SQL, Tableau, Power BI, any software, any programming language out of a book. It's just really difficult to accurately document and reflect things in written form versus being able to see interaction with the software. So that's a personal preference. Maybe you don't mind that. Maybe that's how you've learned other languages or tools. If so, a book might be a great way for you to learn SAS. Personally, I prefer them as great reference material to have on hand um, that I can reference back once I really understand the basic function, can at least do the majority of a basic application of skills within a particular language or within a particular tool. Option five is SAS Academy for Data Science. This is the most expensive single option that we'll talk about, but it's also more comprehensive than any of the other options. SAS recently launched their Academy for Data Science. You can choose from three specialties within the SAS Academy for Data Science. Data Curation Professional, Advanced Analytics Professional, and AI and Machine Learning Professional. Whichever path you choose, you get one year of access to the training, which gives you access to a particular set of courses tailored to each of these subject areas, as well as access to a certain number of certifications. Again, ranging a bit depending on which option you choose, but that means as part of the cost of the SAS Academy, you also can sit for certification exams, which are fantastic certifications to have on your resume and to demonstrate your skills when you go to apply for jobs where you'll be using SAS within your work. You also get access to cloud versions of the SAS software, which is critical to being able to learn how to actually use some of these SAS applications. I've personally used all of these methods except for the SAS Academy for Data Science to learn SAS, and I think they all have their place. I prefer a more formal training to start learning a language or tool, but then books and free videos are excellent resources when I would just wanna know how to do something in particular or I need a reference guide in general. And all of this should be tied in with hands-on application, getting in there and working in the tool working in the language beyond just whatever training material or videos or books that you may use as a resource. That's how you really get comfortable with using SAS or any other tool in practice in a potential job setting. Beyond all of these, the other major way that you could learn SAS is to pick a, a bachelor's or a master's program specializing in analytics that uses SAS as their main tool. NC State's Master's of Analytics is the main program that comes to mind, but there are other, are other options, primarily throughout the US, that use SAS as their primary teaching tool, the primary tool that students are learning as part of their master's or bachelor's programs. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.